a lot of agents already know how to get clicks, but they don't know how to. So the big question is, what are the top agents doing to absolutely crush it in real estate, grow their teams and add more transactions year over year while so many struggle? If you ever thought about this, you're not alone. No one has been able to get the answers until now. We spent the last few years helping agents sell billions in real estate, rubbing shoulders with top producers, which got us thinking. How can we expose more people to these insights to help raise the standard in the whole real estate industry? We then realized that we could help bridge the gap by getting secrets from the best of the best so that you can succeed. My name is Andrew Dunn. And my name is Peter Michael. Welcome to Elite Agent Secrets. What is, you know, the top performing stuff? I know this is the final thing you want to speak about and just kind of share with people if they're wanting to go out and do this themselves, like the best creative that they can go and use right now, which is going to get them results today. So if they went and launched, I know Google ad, Facebook ad, YouTube ad, what are you going to go into? Well, that's a tough question to answer because we have tons of headlines, right? We use search ads mostly. Let's do a couple then. Let's throw a couple out there. Uh, I don't even know, man. Um, let me let me see what I got. Man. So, so as as you're doing that, I think maybe a good question as a follow up would be: is what constitutes a good creative that's working, right? <laughs> Not like a specific headline, but is well, the headline it? Is the good creative. Creative. I think it, it's easier to describe it the same way that you're saying it, Peter, because honestly. We get so many things. It's dynamic, right? It works. Some people want to read it this way. Some people want to read it the other way. It's about the offers itself. Like, you know, but getting clicks, that's what makes a good ad, right? You get the clicks. Right. Now, once you get the click, how do you get the person to give you their number? That's what the job of our landing pages, is, right? right? For people to give us their number and their information. But honestly, like we do everything from seller guides to like home valuations to buyer ads, but it's about what happens after the click, what for us works in generating the sellers, right? It's, we filter them down through conditional logic. Yeah. Right? The questions we, you ask. The you questions that we, ask, we, we have nailed down that process so, so well that by the time we get the lead, we either get the finger because they don't want to get the call. And that's cool. But if we get that conversation going, then like, you know, 80% of the times they're actually looking to sell. Right. Oh, and, and that to me is a big difference. I went from 20% of the times people wanted to sell to like yeah. the opposite. Right. It's obviously a lot of work and it's expensive. Uh, as I said, some markets are really good. Some markets are not, but it works. It's just a matter of like, how much is a seller worth to you, right? How much are you willing to pay for that prospect, right? Like, you know, it, even if you go out and do it yourself, are you willing to pay a hundred for somebody to hang up on you? Are you willing to take that risk, right? So, there, so here's the thing to put things into perspective, because I think a lot of agents that are looking at lead generation, they're looking at it a little bit the wrong way. If you're going to make a ten thousand dollar commission, are you willing to pay a hundred bucks to get a conversation? Step one, and then are you willing to spend a thousand dollars, aka have ten conversations to convert one of those leads? Which means you actually spend a hundred dollars per conversation, a thousand dollars in total, which means to acquire a client. It took you $1,000 to make 10. Is that worth to you? You have to break it down like this. You can't be thinking these leads are going to be dollar store leads, aka $1 here, $1 there, maybe $2 max, and you're going to make a 10K commission. Like, do you expect to, like I, like I said again, do you expect to walk into a Rosewood's dealership and pay equivalency of a Honda Civic? It just doesn't work that way, right? So if your area, your average commission is 5K, then probably you'll be at the lower end of the spectrum for a qualified, you know, quote unquote seller. But if you're a high end, higher end area like myself, you're probably going to spend more. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the beautiful part is the better you get, the less it's going to cost you to acquire a client, aka the new listing. So 
if you're getting one out of 10, maybe you'll get two out of 10, three out of 10. And if you're batting in baseball, three out of 10, I don't know anything about sports, so don't don't leave comments saying, oh, you made this up. But if three out of 10 puts you in a Hall of Fame, I'm like pretty certain, right? If you, it's like 0. 0.3 batting average, you're a Hall of Famer. So which means that if you convert for every 10 people you talk to, three deals and your average commission is 10,000 a pop, that means 30K. You, you just spent $1,000 to make $30,000. So shut the fuck up. (laughs) These leads don't suck. Follow up, get better, acquire the skill set, and know that this is a mathematical equation and how good can you actually make it for yourself, right? Numbers game, exactly. It's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. It was a tough question to answer, Andrew, right? Because it encompasses so much. But really, like a lot of agents already know how to get clicks, but they don't know how how to filter the process down, right? And how to... How do they pick people that are looking to list, right? It's about the audience, really. That's most of a heavy lifting, targeting the right people. doesn't matter what you show them. You can show them a buyer ad, seller ad. If you're showing it to homeowners, they're very likely to sell, right? It's, to me, that's, that's the way I, I process that information. But I like to make sure before I send it to my team that they're in fact selling by asking them the question on the landing page. Got it. So Perfect. when it comes to the creatives, uh, is that like the, so, so now to circle back, to make it full circle, when it comes to creatives, is it home evaluation or like, hey, find out how much your home is worth when it comes to the creative or is it, hey, get a cash offer for your house? Is it, you know, mm-hmm. that, I think that's what Andrew, you're, you're yeah, going with do, when it comes to. We do to- the seller guides and we do the home violations. Yeah. We do both and they work. So don't complicate that. That's kind of what yeah, I would like, like, you know, A lot of people in a lot of marketing companies that I've met, they're like, I'm trying to crack seller leads. And I'm like, but I don't like these leads. I'm like, well, you know what? Listen, I'll figure out a way to work them. Right. Maybe they're not having the right conversations. They're not having the right filtration process. But if you have those pieces in place, generating the contact info is half the way. And then just having the right conversation. But it just, I, w- I would almost argue that after you generate the lead, what happens afterwards is even more important than what happened initially, right? Yeah. So yeah. Maybe, maybe we evolve this third quote unquote section from what's the new creatives that are working. It's like, what is the system that's working that's actually converting them? Is it X amount of calls? Is it, you know, is there some kind of automation there that you recommend for anybody who's listening? What kind of follow-up? Are you basically hounding these people like a used car warranty person? <laughs> so, yeah, the, from the beginning, right, we always ask our agents to confirm the appointment right away. So we set up appointments, right? Even if it's a face-to-face uh, phone point of appointment, we want to make sure that we get them on the phone with the person as soon as possible so that they can continue to build that rapport. If you wait too long, if we set up the appointment for like next week on Wednesday for some reason because the person couldn't, do it before or even Monday, right? And if you wait until Monday to speak to that person, they're very likely to have forgotten about what they did. So we want to make sure that there is a conversation happening very, very, um, you know, shortly after, you know, they had a conversation with our team and then that they continue to hold basically the, the conversation that they keep in contact with them, like just like send some text messages, you know, let them know that you're working on their stuff. Make sure that they feel a little bit special, right? And honestly, it's just about engagement, right? Like, you know, we want to get them to come to the home as soon as possible so that they can generate that listing, that they can generate that rapport and get people to sign with them. So and it's very simple. I don't I don't even know, man. It's just like in my head, it sounds so simple because I do it every day, right? But confirming showing up after you show up you thank them you know for the conversation you kind of make a remark about like you know thank you very much it was a great chat you know it was great to know also um this information about you right personally right some personal note and then after that it's just like okay you have to continue to hold something that they want for example people want uh if it's a buyer right if they're buying a home 
I'm going to get, I'm going to try to get you some listings, right? I'm going to try to get you more information about maybe some private listings that may come up in my brokerage, right? So try to hold something that they want from you after the fact, because 80% of them, they're likely to buy, right? So they can use something as simple as private listings, you know, back up, back pocket offers, right? As something that they're going to want from you just to keep in touch. But hey, by the way, you know, I think something's coming up next week over the next couple of weeks. Um, do you mind if I come down, you know, to go over that information again, maybe sign the paperwork, whatever. But at that point, if you're already in touch with them, they're li very likely to be your client. It's just about how do you conduct yourself? Uh, but obviously, if you're like the opposite of the spectrum and you wait for that appointment to happen and then you call them on the time of appointment and you only spend five minutes talking to that person, then why would they want to work with you, right? Like you're sure, right. doing a disservice to your own um, industry, right? So it's just a matter of, to me, it's a matter of having recurring touch points, talking to people often. And at the beginning, you have to talk a little bit more to build that trust. And lastly, have something that they want from you all the time and keep them engaged with that so that they don't feel like you've done their work. Now there's nothing else that they can get from you. So now they're going to go to their other realtor that they spoke to or whoever, you know, is a little bit more aggressive than you, they may sign up with them. So make sure that they have that and then uh, get, get them to sign the listing if you can, or like the listing agreement as soon as possible. But that, I don't know, man, I don't know what else to tell you. My head is right. No, that's that's perfect. I think that that's a nice way to wrap up actually because you've just over delivered tenfold. So, Christine, the floor is now yours. Tell people if they want to reach out, they either want to talk to you, learn about your service, hire you, all that good stuff. How can they get in touch to learn more about you specifically? Yeah, no worries. So I'll keep it simple. Uh, my name is Christian Betancourt. If you haven't read it, the name of my company is Mankind Media. And you can reach out to me um, at my telephone number, 416-414-9705. That's the best way to reach out. Guys, guys, highly recommend you give Christian a shot because you will be blown away. We've seen what he's been doing over the last two years plus, And it is unequivocally one of the best in the space, hands down. If you guys want to leverage your time, stop prospecting, stop cold calling, take your business to the next level, fill yourself with leads, get sellers, learn how to do it and scale your business. No better man. Christian, That's thank so you for joining nice. on. It's been a pleasure. Thank Everyone, you, thanks for listening to this episode and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for listening to this episode. Now, before you go, we're giving access to a private training we did where we revealed the top three niches to get listings today completely for free. So if you want access, you can go and download that training at EliteAgentSecrets.com. We're regularly releasing new trainings, guides, and cheat sheets. So make sure to head over to EliteAgentSecrets.com and sign up so you don't miss out.